Anyway, needless to say, it is the Vape Saber. And the Vape Saber is an all aluminum construction, uh, 18650. Um, the blade can be made to uh, fit or work with uh, literally whatever uh, atomizer you want. Um, the airflow comes around the side of the atomizers um, and in between the blade, and it sits inside the blade so that it is um, hidden. Um, if the customer wants, I can drill holes in the side of the blade for extra airflow. Um, I have found that it is perfectly adequate. Um, as you can see, it is um, anodized. Um, and I actually anodized this particular one. We're going to take the camera and move it here, so uh, bear with me for just a second here, folks. <clears throat> We're going to do a close-up of this particular model so that we can see exactly what it looks like. So I did this as a uh, kind of a used or worn look to the anodizing so that it um, looks used and aged. Um, it's not just your typical pristine anodizing job. Um, it is still going to last. Um, it is still completely anodized. There is no electrical issues, um, and everything is set down inside there. Now, of course, the blade does come off, and the atomizer does come out of there, so let's show us here. Unscrew the atomizer. It pops right out of the blade. We can then pop the blade right off, and you can see the uh, Delrin... Um, 510 socket, of course it is a Fat Daddy's 510 um, socket. It has LEDs built into it to uh, when you fire the atomizer so that it uh, um, lights up the blade. Fire button built in there, it's totally mechanical. Shorts from there into a center pin. Very solid setup. Let's put this back in here. All right. The disadvantage of having this thing sitting inside the blade like it is, is it makes it a little difficult to uh, screw this all the way in. Um, I am going to make the next blade. Um, a little bit wider so that you can pull this all the way off. Right now it doesn't come off. It's got a different diameter at the top and the bottom, so it won't come off, unfortunately. But it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it. It still vapes very well. Let's put the camera back where it belongs, and let's take a vape off of it. As you can see, it vapes very well. I am looking for a soundboard that I can fit inside here um, to uh, make it sound um, like a uh, saber. Um, I don't. I haven't found one that's small enough. I've found some, but unfortunately, they're too big to fit inside, so um, I haven't been able to incorporate it. But uh, there it is, the Vape Saber.